do growing up. Um, excited about my second opportunity to play in the Olympics this summer. Could you describe uh, the feeling seeing Grand Hill at your door? Uh, I mean, it was a surprise, right? Uh, sitting on the couch watching TV and you know, the doorbell ringing with Grand Hill. So I definitely was not expecting that. Jason Cho, um, he's been talking about some of the past on the team took the championships, how he's been studying those. Drew was just talking about you know, how you guys looked at the old way around. Is there any other paths or just you know, ways teams went to championships instead of some of those conversations? Yeah, we looked at the 08 team, we looked at 2010 Lakers that won the championship and just how um, every path is different. Uh, you know, 08 team, they went to two game sevens. First and second round. So he just, you know, getting us prepared is not always going to go maybe how we expected or wanted to go. Um, we got to be ready for it. How do you even pull from your own experiences, your own runs, like 2022, just the way different things can go and, you know, just different situations that come up? I mean, just kind of piggybacking off what I just said that uh, we got to be ready for the unexpected. The playoffs present a lot of different challenges from game to game. Uh, you got to be ready to uh, respond and react. Uh, you, know, you never know exactly what's going on. What do you guys have to do to be better at home in the playoffs? That's been kind of a struggle. Yeah, yeah I think uh, not just not take it for granted. Like, I think in the past, we just felt like coming back home, we had the advantage and you know you're supposed to win. And, uh, maybe relax a little bit. You know, necessarily probably take the opposite approach that you know, maybe feel like our back is against the wall when we come up and have some better outcomes. It seemed like yesterday's practice was, it's been described as very physical. Al said it was maybe tougher than uh, a lot of training camp practices. Today was more of a mental one. What do you think the, the, the goal is for these kind of practices back to back? Yeah, I mean, we had the point of the season, right? We had a week off, but you still want to get some rhythm. So yesterday we kind of went more live, and more physical, and things like that, and kind of offset that with a uh, more mental approach going over certain situations and, and things like that um, that you know, we might see. Coming you pay attention to analytics at all? Watch previous year's films to see how teams play you in the playoffs differently? Yeah, watch a lot of film. Um, previous playoffs, things that we worked well for the team, worked well for me, things that didn't work well, um, and how we need to adjust in real time. Jason, Jason you. Kobe guy. What was it like watching him lose the finals and watching him? Awake and watch them win a finals in 10. Uh, I mean, I was super excited, right? You know, I was upset when they lost in 08, and he got to come back and win in 2009 and 10, especially, you know, getting his revenge back in 2010. Uh, I was definitely a, a happy kid, you know, watching that. Watching it now, though, 2010, and he beat the Celtics, does that make you feel any bittersweet feelings? Uh, Celtics lose and some of the guys lose that time. No, I, I can separate the two, right? It's, I was a kid when that happened. And, um, you know, I wasn't in the NBA at that time. So I was my favorite player. Um, so it was only right. You know, they beat him in 08 and he got one in 2010, so they both got it. I gotta ask you about the number stay 10. Stay locked in over the course of this entire regular season, but how hungry have you been for this moment now that the playoffs have arrived? Uh, extremely hungry and excited. Uh, we did a great job of staying present throughout the year, not looking past anybody or looking forward you know, from month to month. Stay present, and uh, that's what we're gonna continue to keep doing, is staying present. We're not looking beyond anything besides Sunday. Last two questions. I gotta ask you about the number 10 with USA Basketball. How special is it to have that number on your chest for you specifically? Extremely special. Uh, played on three USA teams when I was in high school. Uh, I got to wear number 10 all three of those years. Knowing that you know my favorite player were number 10 for the national team. And I played on the FIBA World Cup team in 19 at number 10. And in 2021 I had number 10 on that team. So, some I don't take for granted or lightly. Uh, I know, you know what comes with wearing that number. You're going to give us the one of these when you hit a big shot? Hopefully we don't have any games that close. <laughs>